Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913, and we are Let's Playing Galaxy Express 39. In the last episode, Shoro made it through a maze as we reached Planet Andromeda. <laughs> This is probably the toughest one yet. Tetsuro taking down the elite god, the Andromeda Galaxy. Boom. Took a couple tries, but we did it. We did it. Boom, boom, boom. See, I like this stuff here. I like the fighting. It's fun. It's challenging, too. Like, in the beginning, obviously, there was, like, a little cheat dynamic you can do where you can be hiding and still be shot at. I got more guys to fight. Endless, you're right. Whoa. Hey, Harlock! Harlock's here. Why is he taking on his planet Andromeda all of a sudden? And that looks like it's, uh, what's her name? Esmeralda's ship, too. Captain Harlock! So it looks like he's buying us some time or something. I, I'm not sure why all of a sudden he's deciding to attack the planet, but hey, if it means me getting out of here. And yes, this is Maytel's mom, Queen Andromeda. I know it only showed up for a moment. どうして目の差を。あの者は私を裏切った。her father wanted to destroy the mechanized thing because he didn't like how basically the, me the, the me coming a mech kind of turned, got rid of people's humanity. You know what I mean? Yeah, so Tetsuo isn't having any of that. And I think here he finds out that Maytel is actually a clone of his mother. 
his body, of her body, and that's why she looked eerily similar to Tetsuro's mom, because, because what Kalmeka used to do is he would capture, he would hunt down people, and then he would send some of the people over to the planet Andromeda. And that's why, that's why Maytel actually knows, uh, you know, she knew Count Mecca, she kind of bad for him and all that. Yeah, so now are we gonna fight Queen Andromeda or something? I forget what happens. I think we end up doing something else. I don't know if we fight her directly. I think something else happens. Oh no, I guess we are. Oh shit, this is an odd way to fight. This is pretty crazy. I've never. It's kind of neat. Somehow I gotta kill it. This is gonna be hard. I'm gonna have to. Come on, I'm, I'm locking it up. What am I supposed to do? Turn the other way while that's coming? Wow, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh, there we go. Lock on to her already, man. Lock on to her. I got my ass handed to me by her. Wow. She's tough. This is a brand new battle thing, though. All right, so let's... All right, get up. How am I supposed to beat her? Can I just shoot at her? Or... Is there a way to duck? It's gonna be hard. Ow, I got my ass handed to me again. At least it looks like she starts off to be okay, so then. She's got like a force field up or something. Now this thing's gonna shoot at you and then you run the other way. Oh no, I forgot to run the other way. Yeah, how do I kill this broad? If I tap over twice with the left analog stick, I'll actually, like, dodge or something. How the hell am I supposed to beat her? She's got, like, a force field. Alright. Is there some computer thing? Have her hit or something? Or supposed to beat her. It doesn't seem like I can get rid of her force field. Am I supposed to quit?
guy keeps shooting at it until the thing goes away? Oh, okay. I gotta keep shooting at it. Oh, shit. Alright. Now it's... Now it's a little easier. Okay. I just gotta duck, 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 dive, dodge, 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 duck, duck, shoot! Shoot, damn it! No, look at her and shoot! Idiot! I'm not gonna win this time, but at least I took away some energy. Now I know what I gotta do. Alright, let's retry. It's gonna be a bitch, people. I'm not good at dodging and shit. At least she only has like two attacks. That one. So, I don't know if you guys are noticing, but, like, the stars get a little dimmer around her. See how there's stars around her, or, like, a force field? Every time I shoot at her, it, it actually diminishes a little. Alright, so shoot that, I can dodge that. Alright, You gotta hold R2 to have the damn gun out. What's gonna end up happening is I'm just gonna have to do this. I got I got a trick or a tactic get right up close because then those balls won't hit you You just gotta watch out for the pink shooty things all right so let's get up real close here so we can do that. all right that does hit you but maybe if I move out that hard. Uh, you know what? I'll be right back. I'll just show the part where I beat it. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. is you have to dodge those by holding down R2 and then do double tapping your con your uh, joystick. That'll make Tetsuro uh, tumble roll, do a barrel roll or whatever, tumble roll, and he'll, he can dodge those, those balls. And then with the purple stuff, you just got to kind of move out of the way. And you just got to keep shooting at her and getting rid of her barrier. Thank God, that took forever. Took it took like 15 minutes, but I got it. I don't care about you. I, I, I think you suck. And I hope to God there's never any more. Well, I figure there's one more boss battle, but I hope to God there's not any more, any more thing. So that's Dr. Bond, her father, inside this pendant. And what she's going to do is she's going to throw it inside of uh, Yeah, she's going to throw it inside the central core and it should explode exploding on this planet stopping the cycle of mechanized humans Yeah, but thank God I beat that broad Man, oh man She was becoming a real pain in the ass no, don't blow up my planet. 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 Don't blow up my just do it. You know, have Tetsuro. <laughs> Tetsuro has the will to destroy a whole planet. And yeah, she goes after it, trying to save it. But that's not going to work. Whoa! <laughs> Whatever you say, May tell me. Yeah, your mother used to be a very beautiful woman. She used to be a lovely lady, but she only cared about her appearance and her robot appearance and blah blah blah. She wanted to make this planet perfect with mechs. And she basically, you, she made me tell. She made tell. Actually, like I said, she was a clone of uh, Tetsuro's mother. And yeah, here's. Look at this, huh? Tetsuro saving her at the last minute. Now we're, he's like an emergency meeting, emergency leaving. And look, here comes Tetsuro and Maytel. Yeah, we're here. We, we gotta get back on the Galaxy Express. The planet's gonna explode. You know, Queen Andromeda literally was a load-bearing boss. Are we going 
escape in time. Boom. And luckily we get out of there. Just in time, thank God. Are we at the end of the game? Or at least, I think there's going to be some bonus parts. Because I want to say there's other stuff we can do. There's another... I want to say there's another journey where we actually find out who Tetsuro's father is. I think, I think they base it off the, the animated show A Dude Galaxy Express, which I also watched. It's like another story. It's Tetsuro grown up a little bit, and he meets Maytel again, and they go on another journey to stop something, because apparently, like, proto uh, Maytel is around. And then look, there's Harlock. Sarabado, Tetsuro. Does he want to speak with us? And there's Esmeraldus. Sayonara, Meter. Yeah, so these ladies, these pirates knew, uh... Arigato. Captain Haroku! Queen Esmeraldus! Queen Esmeraldus, that was her name. I kept calling her regular Alice Esmeraldus. But yeah, so I guess we're done. I think we're done with the original story. Pretty much find out that it's not worth becoming a mech. Even though you could live forever. You lose your humanity. And poor May tells she destroyed her, her parents and the planet she, she was sort of born in. But she shouldn't feel bad because she saved the world. And countless people who uh, might have had the same fate as other mech people who eventually it didn't like their own lives, I guess. Yeah, you should be happy. We're going to be able to join, journey together forever now. You could be my lady. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, so she sort of has, she sort of, I guess always had like motherly feelings for Tetsuro, knowing that she sort of, what, hi, there, there's a guy over there, maybe we're not done. Uh oh, there she was. Got off at the at the thing. And that's it. Is that it? I don't know. I don't think so, though. There's a whole other story we can actually do. Sayonara, mo yuazu ni itchau natte. So now Tetsuro is back on his planet, thinking about the Galaxy Express and all the journeys he had with Maytel. But there's actually more to this game, I know it. Because there's a guy named... Well, yeah. let's just, let's just finish this. Mm -hmm. So,yeah,so so there's a guy named Faust, which we should meet a little later. Uh, let's save it here, I guess. Alright, yeah, so there's a guy named Faust that we actually meet as we journey with on the Galaxy Express, I think the second time, in the Ado version, and we find out some stuff about him. But yeah, I guess this is the end of the, the, uh, the game. I hope you guys liked it. This was kind of cool. Blind LP, 
never before seen on YouTube. I'm a pioneer, goddammit, and I think I did a pretty good job. But yeah, there's a whole other journey we can actually do. That involves fighting Faust, learning about who Faust is, what's going on with all that. So what I'm going to have to do is, now that we saved the game... You know how in the beginning of the game there was a section where you can choose which character you want to be? Maybe I'd have to go there and check that out. But yeah, I had a lot of fun playing this game. It's kind of interesting to see uh, all the um, all the uh, interesting characters that we met. Everyone that I didn't know, everyone that I did know. And all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that I beat it. It is a fairly short game, too. <sighs> but yeah, I like the graphics of the game. I thought that they were pretty done, pretty well done with like the, how they did the polygons and how they got it pretty close to looking like it was the anime, which I think was pretty cool. I also like uh, I also like the fact that how they got like uh, apparently some of the voice actors were actually the voice actors from the game or from the show and yeah I guess it's not technically over but yeah I get uh, then I won't even consider this the finale yeah oh look who's on the front now Harlock so let's let's see something before I uh, before we go on to a new game. Is this gonna say load it on uh, load disc one or something? Oh, so here we go. We can pick different characters. We can we just did Tetsuro's story. I guess we could do other people's story. I guess I'll start with. Uh, not that he's not the least interesting, but maybe I'll start off with this guy in the next episode. So this has been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.